Welcome to the Nine Show. This is the land where there is constant chaos. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the N I N E Show or the Nine Show. The Nine Show. The N I N N E Show. <laughs> I got my my shoulders are so just so wide I can't even fit in the screen. <laughs> Actually, yeah, sometimes I really feel like I'm dumber than myself. Technically, it's because you suck. Yep. <laughs> but that we is true. Like, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> I like how you're like hitting yourself on the head <laughs> when you're trying to. Yeah, I'm like, think. I'm like, fuck. Like, we literally, we think the same. Let's just so let's just let's just run that back again for the sake of. <laughs> Speaking of recording, we are live. <clears throat> All right, welcome to the Nine Show, y'all. Welcome to the land of chaos. Today we're doing an interview with Miss Cassidy, and she is an ENFP, just like Jono, except she's got uh, play a lot higher. It's consume, play, blast, sleep. So yes. she is a chaos monkey, crack addict. Say hi. Hi. Hey, Cassidy. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. Nice. We're all Very good. Nice. Say hi to Cassidy. Don't be rude to our guest. <laughs> hey, Cassidy. Hi. Hey, Cassidy. Hey, Cassidy. Has anyone ever called you Cassidy? Yes, I've gotten casserole, Cassidy. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we're going to ask you some questions that are hopefully going to punch at your demon functions and maybe right. even just show off your savior functions to see. So I, we originally were going to have another guest with us today, Elizabeth, <laughs> who is your twin type. Yes. And I, since I've moved to Texas and been interacting with you guys here and there, uh, I've been noticing your difference in energy a little bit. And you tend to be more introverted, and I'm wondering what you think the cause of that, or one of the possible causes of that could be. Oh, God. Um, let's get personal here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think jump straight in. Has, I, I think a lot of it has to do with how we were both raised, without getting much into Beth's childhood. My childhood was very, um, <laughs> it was very restricted. I think that my mom is probably an ISTJ. And then both of my parents are lead sensing. My mom would be lead SI, and I think my dad is lead SE. My dad's an ESFP. And I, so I think it, when I go into that intu intuitive land of the NE, it probably didn't, I, I think it probably rubbed them the wrong way. Mm. Like if, if I ask my mom an NE question, like, hey, mom, why, why do you think uh, God sends people to hell? She, she would just be like, uh, 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 I don't know. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, she just, they just avoid it. Um, and I, I think growing up like that in, in being so deeply engulfed into Catholicism, as well as just being in a highly controlled environment, whereas Beth had a more um, free environment where she was allowed to speak her mind and things like that. Um, it probably contributes to why we're different as well as the fact that she's like 10 years older than me. She's had more time to develop her sleep energy, her FI identity, things like that. So that would be my best guess. So basically you were forced to use your demons a little more in that way? Yes. Growing up, I had to, um, I had to fulfill a lot of the, the stereotypical EJ roles. Um, my parents had me super young and I you know, they grew up with me in a way and I had to work two jobs in high school and then, um, take care of my sisters. I have two younger sisters who are like 10 years younger than me. So when they were toddlers and babies, I would have to take care of them. So wow. I think that that probably forced you to grow up yes. real fast. Yeah. What yeah. a way to start off an episode. <laughs> just for the record, the reason God sends people to hell is because he's a just God because we're wicked, but he's given us a oh chance God. in Jesus. If y'all repent, you fully believe and trust in him and, you know, have a relationship yeah. with him and gonna, do his will. I'm going to get my That's dog out of my room because she's whining. And I'm going to oh, freak right doggy. now. Poor <laughs> doggy. <laughs> no. I'm going to turn this into a, to a, and I blast your lesson. Hit me up on yeah, Instagram. You <laughs> Yo, hit me up at, at TempleBot on Instagram. I'll talk to you guys about Jesus. That's TempleBot uh, Instagram. 
um, I gave right. him that platform. <laughs> so, th thank you for the opportunity. Uh, <laughs> so, my second question, this is going to take a weird flip right now, but if you were going to torture somebody, how would you do it? <laughs> wow. How wouldn't I do it? Let's see the saying. any possibilities. Oh. Well, I think to, to look at how to make someone else feel horrible, I would have to look at what would make me feel horrible. And I think like my, my demon, like OCD SI type thing, like I, um, a lot of it revolves. Okay. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if this is inappropriate for YouTube. Well, go <laughs> for it. Go for it. Sleep process it first. Oh, we, we don't, we don't have ads on it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but community guidelines. Uh, no. Ooh. Um, <laughs> This is hypothetical, okay? It's hypothetical, but I'm feminine tribe, so um. <laughs> Wait, tickle somebody with a feather or what? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> it can't squirt, be that. Squirt, squirt them with a water gun. <laughs> like it can't be that bad, surely. Like yeah, like come on. Like. Okay, and it, let's let's do an innocent answer. I would let me think. There, there's so many things going on in my mind right now, and all of them are way too inappropriate for YouTube. <laughs> oh man, you're making our too much any like too much now. any for YouTube. Any too can't much. handle any. Okay, let me skip over that one. Then. Okay, thank you. Let's real quick. We're gonna hit you in the demon function now, and I want you to tell all the details from your perspective to the audience about what it was like to meet up for the first time with me and uh, Elizabeth when we met her up. Um, I was really nervous, but I was also super excited for it. Oh, no, let's talk about details. No feelings. Oh, what? No, I'm just kidding. You're demon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean details? Like, we were supposed to meet at... Okay, so initially we were supposed to meet at 12 o'clock, but then I moved it to 4 because my daughter naps at, like, 12. But then you came early, and then I started freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, should, should we go early? Should we go earlier? Is that a thing? I don't know what to wear. I went to Walmart and bought a new shirt because I'm like, I don't know what to wear. This. What? What do I wear for? I don't know how to talk to people. What? Oh my God. Let me go do my sneakers. <laughs> yeah, let me go me. gather some, some things. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, girl. And so I, we got there and it was, it was fine once we got there. And I was relieved because at first I'm like, what am I walking into? Are they go like? Are they gonna try to sex traffic me? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's your thing. That's my thing. She keeps that's my on observer. That. that is my observer quirk. Is sex trafficking? I, I'm sweating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Get up in the camera and okay. tell them how you feel about it. No, like even with Dave and Shan with their with their stuff i hear people go to their house i'm like why are you going into people's houses like <laughs> really nilly what uh, you don't know who they are what if they try to cult you like what if they're a cult and they they try to like i don't i don't fucking know like they, they just they keep not you not only in do house. they categorize you they I, actually put you into boxes and in, with yeah, labels on them the, i the, thought about that ij boxes like everywhere the, because if you, <laughs> if you read their if you read their um what is it their operator training on their website it talks about all the different things that they would do, like making it you chew with your mouth open while you're eating. They they specifically mentioned that what? in their operator training. I got yes. to try that one. I, didn't I that. would cry. <laughs> so I'm like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna like put me in a coffin for a day? I had more for of an a, aforementioned amount of time. I had more of a freak out than you did the whole time because Elizabeth's son was jumping on my back and slapping me and trying to choke me the whole time. <laughs> 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 I couldn't see anything. Yeah, y'all were put throwing bunches of glue on a pinata. <laughs> like, <come> on. <laughs> no, that was funny. Right. Let's see what Assis has to say. Assis, you got a question, Kathy? Yeah. So, given that you guys are type twins, it's this is a very um, interesting scenario. So, what? Is, where is the friction? from your perspective and your guys' relationship with Elizabeth and what keeps you all together? 
So when I first started talking to her, I noticed how sassy she was. And I think it's that masculine FI. And at first I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Um, and then, then I slowly realized that because we're, we are type twins, she's, she's not, one, she's not meaning to be a bitch about it. She doesn't really sound like a bitch, but it was just that initial, like, that's like the first thing I noticed is that masculine FI. Um, and then I also, it was, it was nice to be able to kind of put down the, 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 the tribe walls in a way, um, because we, I already knew how she th thinks. I know how she thinks. She thinks like how I think. And that was nice because I, I didn't have to, to be fake at all. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. And it, it's, it's the relief to not have to have to put up an SF type of facade for people. What? No, no, I agree with everything you're saying. I felt very similar. Yeah, and it was nice. I mean, and we, we were all saying it, like even my husband was saying it. When we were all together, it was like, has, does anybody feel like we've known each other for like 10 years or our whole lives? It, That's it was, awesome. It, it was very That's strange, deep. but in a good way. That's deep. Thank you. Very deep. <laughs> so deep. Odin throws in F.E. comments here and there, and it feels... Just, just <laughs> All right, I see you have a second one, right? A second question. Yes, I do have a second question, and it is, how have y'all used objective personality to uh, navigate throughout your lives and each other? Okay, so I started OP, I think in March 2019. And at the time I had just gotten out of the hospital because um, I went there and I, was, I had pre-stroke symptoms. My blood pressure was ridiculous. Um, I was having heart problems. And they, they diagnosed me with so, like a, a plethora of different things. They're like, you can't eat gluten anymore. You have arthritis in your spine. Um, you need wow. to lose weight and get your life together or you're going to be in a wheelchair by the time you're 50. Right. And that was, that was my wake up call because I, I hadn't been taking care of myself. And when, um, shave typed me a sleep last, I'm like, Oh, that makes sense because I'm not, I'm not taking any time yeah. to take care of my physical environment or my physical body. Um, so after, after I discovered OP, I started watching, well, I knew who Jordan Peterson was, but I really dived into him for whatever reason. And I think it's, it's that same, we have the same animals, except he's any TI instead of any FI. Yeah. But it, it, it struck a chord with me and I, I started working out. I started eating better. Um, I started getting my life in order just you know, clean your room type of thing. It's yeah. very nice here, actually. Is your room clean? It does look pretty clean. It's super freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's taken a while to get to that point, but I, I've just built SI systems in my house and in my life to to get my crap in order. Um, and I ended up, like, I've lost 50 pounds this year. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Internet clap. Well. That's, that's <laughs> well, honestly comments. fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I've lost all the weight. Um, I, you know, you can look like track the number of days of like sick days and vacation time that I spent at work before I made these lifestyle changes versus now before it would be like once a week and now it, it'll be once a month if that, which is pretty reasonable um, from my perspective. But I mean, it's, it's, significantly changed my life and helped me get my stuff together and helped me get my health back and helped me not be miserable and it helped me be a better mom so i think mm -hmm. that, yeah so yeah, that's it's, cool it's, what a cool testament to op yeah mm -hmm. yeah so 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 you said that um you got really into jordan peterson and i'm i'm also very into jordan peterson so this is a jordan peterson type question how have you um uh, dealt with people sort of uh, getting in your way of making progress in your life? I cut them out. Hey. 
Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> so, Bye. so what does that what does that look like? Bye, like it's Felicia. just it's just straight up like that. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> so it may not be cutting them out completely, but just putting um, better up. boundaries. Just just having mm -hmm. better boundaries. M maybe loving them from a distance. Like maybe with my parents, I'm not gonna tell them as much or. T um, give them as much information as I would give somebody that I trusted more. Mm. Um, I think that whole loving them from a distance concept has been really helpful because it, in my mind, my, when I think of love, I think of self-sacrifice. I think of being there for somebody always, and that's not always the case. Sometimes you can't be there. You have mm -hmm. to put up those boundaries. You have to say no and do what's right for you because if you're not living a life that's right for you, then what's the point? Mm -hmm. And it yeah. may hurt them, but it's their own fault for being a toxic influence in your life for getting hurt. And they need to work on their own shit. That's my FI talking. Mm. I'm not going to be responsible Preach. anymore for them yeah. to work on their own shit. I love and it. not getting involved <clears throat> where I don't need to be involved. Mm -hmm. So you've really, you've really taken all of this to heart and it, and it really shows. Like, Thank you. And she's made massive improvements mm -hmm. in a short time, which is incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> Last. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> right double masculine sleep blast yeah. too, right? Mm -hmm. And Jono, speaking of double masculine sleep. Oh, true. Sleep we both have double masculine sleep. I just realized that. Yeah. yeah. How is that for you? Sorry. No, never mind. She's like, <laughs> I mean, I, I can talk about it if you want, but it's not about me today. It's not about me. Just watch our other, watch our, watch our episode on sleep, and then you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> so, Donna, your question, sir. Cool. Yeah. So, um, I had a question which was framed um, around Elizabeth being here, but that's not going to work. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it anyway because maybe you'll get it but the question it's actually two questions in one the question is if you could be any animal in the world what would it be and why is it a squirrel <laughs> Elizabeth would be a squirrel yeah well, that gather right just gather consume play gather right. gather gather yeah, it would be more funny if she was here because it's a bit of an inside joke, but obviously oh, okay. it wasn't received <laughs> as intended. <laughs> so the, the one person in the when she watches it will get it. Yeah, she can watch it back and be laughing when, when, when she when she watches the replay. Anyway, um yeah. so this other question I have is more about demon mask on SI. I wanted okay. to know more about that. You mentioned that you have SI systems in your house. Yes. Can you give us some examples of like what kind of systems you've set up in order to like create that freedom and uh, responsibility? Yeah. So I think be, because I have two kids, that was probably one of the more important ones is incorporating them into organizing the house and cleaning. Um, my daughter is two and she can pick up after herself and wipe up her own messes and put wow. her stuff in the dishwasher. She knows how to do all of that. Is she so an IJ? She's an ISTJ. <laughs> is that what you think? She's just like her dad, but like different. I don't is it easy I... for her? Is it, sorry, I know we're going off topic a little bit, but it's like the yeah. SI <laughs> and the organization <laughs> easy for her. Do you think so? Some sort of SI. I think she's gathered. Well, a two-year-old doing all that stuff responsibly is probably itself In a safe state. state. Oh, so you're probably just a good mom, whatever type she is. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. Um... No, I think that kids are, their, their brains are like sponges and they're going to learn what you give them, what True. you put in as you get out. So ha having them be able to take care of the SI was really important to me because I don't want them to end up like me and throw a tantrum this morning over not being able to use a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> so, How, um, um, sorry, do you have more to say? Yeah, I was, I was just going to say my son... Um, I think that he's probably any Effie. Mm. Um, and getting him involved in that is, I think, a tad bit more difficult. But he's been able to do it. And he knows how things work now. He can, he folds, he does his own laundry. He vacuums his own room. He does his own room. Wow. Like, I, 
make What's I'm, your secret? Um, spank your kids. Do it or die. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> spank your kids. Manny has something to say. No, I think. That's another episode. I, I oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I that don't was really episode tell one. Them, I don't tell them they're doing a good job for things that they are, are just should be normal. Amen. That's good. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll tell them that they're being being very helpful and that I appreciate them doing things around the house, but I, I don't tell them good job. I thank them and tell them they're being helpful. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, yeah. So that, that's been a really big thing. Another thing is designating certain days for certain things. Like my demon SI wants my house to be clean 24 seven. And that's hallelujah. Not hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, that's not that. a reasonable request. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not. So I just pick one day of the week or two days of the week usually where my house is clean. Okay, so you intentionally will have a day where you're like, okay, today is the day where I have to walk around the house and just make sure everything's in order? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I also do that with bills and like, like if I, like I'll make a list of appointments. I do that on Thursdays. On Thursdays I pay bills and look over any medical crap any anything like that i just i, I do you have like this on a, on a whiteboard or something or some kind of like chart or plan or I, just do, on your I head? have it on a chart but yeah. it's really messy and i don't know if you want to see it yeah. <laughs> they have a refrigerator which is really cool it tells uh <laughs> fun names for the days of the week of which they eat certain food mm-hmm. so that's that's like baby it's baby <laughs> it's baby <SI. laughs> <laughs> it's leveraging. It's Was it? Like, did you make it with crayons and, and, and like color? Mama Mia Monday. That's cool. <laughs> so right. when 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 like there's a little bit of like disorder in the house, or like you know you're walking through the house and there's just some piles of things everywhere, does that kind of stress you out a little bit? Absolutely, I'm an asshole about it to everybody. Really? Good. Yes. The, it's good to be relatable. Be mom- related to. <laughs> You need to talk to my girlfriend, I think. <laughs> what? I said you should talk to my girlfriend just a little bit, because I'm like I'm a bit the same. Like I can be very snappy and just a bit like a bit like an asshole when like things are not in order. And then I feel like maybe it's because of me, and maybe I'm not like pulling my weight enough. But I don't know. I yeah, I've noticed though, so, like the, the difference in my mood when my house is clean is significant. Like you would think that I was PMSing if my house is yeah. dirty because I'm such a bitch. It's just because we crave that freedom, you know what I mean? Like, we just want to walk into a house and not have to, like, be controlled or, like, think about yeah. things that are out of control. We just want to be free yeah. to explore and free to do what we want. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very That's cool. That's exactly Nice. Um, should we move one on more. to Odom? Or one more? Ooh. Yeah, go for one, one more. Bro. Okay, one more. Go so, this, one, this one's also kind of related to sleep last, I think. Have you ever, like, tried meditation or do you ever do any kind of, like, just, like disconnecting from external distractions external input ha. so i have noticed so if i try meditation from a traditional route it doesn't work i am not able to be present if i am focusing inward right. when i meditate I, I there has to be an outward motion to it so if i'm I need to be able to write. I don't know if that's like a kinesthetic because of the sure. double math or something. I need to be able to write. I need to be able to move. So I might do that or do the mental work when I work out. I need to be moving. Right. Yeah. And that helps you to um, focus, right? Yes. Physically doing something. Too. Right. Okay. Yeah. Must be the masculine sensory thing. I, I think so. I mean, that's pro- I mean, that's why we're making this pinata though. Yeah. We're, we're going to beat the shit out of it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have uh, a sensory bubble, and when we crack it open, it's gonna have a bunch of little end end bubbles. <laughs> Should be the other way around. Anyway. Now, because I want to beat the shit out of Yeah, we're gonna create the ah, story. True. <laughs> yeah, true. Create chaos. <laughs> yeah. Create chaos. What this is one more question, one real quick question. Like some, do you, Cassie, do you ever think that sometimes you just want to like create chaos, just like just blow everything up, just push everything over, just like, <laughs> just, yes. just, just just like, yeah, just like just like, like destroy the order. It's destroy like the order. Boston is coming in and throwing like a bunch of beer at people through a hose just because. Yesterday, I had some Jehovah's Witnesses people come to my house, like sit on my couch just so I could argue with them. 
Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I should do that. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, so let's hear Odin's question. Oh my God, I feel that. Um, okay, cool. This is like an FI question. So what's your current number one priority right now or like in the next few months? In terms of what? Just life. Just what's your like number one FI priority? Okay. Um, I... <laughs> making me narrow it down. Um, <laughs> um, my kids are always a priority, but for me personally, I would like to save more money. And I think that I've been doing a better job at that just from cutting out a bunch of expenses, like yeah. not getting my nails done every two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. Learn a lesson real quick. <laughs> save your money. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, in what way or in what situation has your FI like helped you? in life I, I think a lot of the time when you have to discern between right and wrong it can get really difficult when you are a double decider because in a way you're not allowed to have feelings yeah you, you know what I mean yeah I know you mean. yeah so because if you're feeling a certain way there's always a te counter argument yeah yeah Right. So I think with the, the FI being masculine, it, it has helped me discern, like, I, I can't, I cannot imagine having feminine FI like you do, and I have to make a decision about something. Yeah. Um, so you always know what you want, you just don't know if you can, like, commit to that decision. That. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah there, there's always that back and forth where, <laughs> yeah, you, Right, yeah, you do conflict with yourself because it, you know, if you're like, oh, I want to sleep, but you know, X, Y, Z needs to get done. This needs yeah. to get done. This needs to get done. This, and then it's like, but, but I, but I'm tired, and it, like, you are, you sit there and argue with yourself <laughs> all freaking day. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, double deciding. You're like the ultimate double decider too, because you got like savior masculine FI, but double activated demon T. So it's like yeah. you couldn't get any more double deciding. Okay. Right. Yeah. And your masculine. <laughs> <laughs> so hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, the next question's related. It's like, in what way has FI fucked you over? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Just being so stubborn that you don't want to listen to anyone else. Don't tell me what to do. Right. Don't control me. Yeah. Uh, additionally, it's a thing where when you get depressed especially with that sleep last, that masculine sleep last. Mm. When you get depressed, you are down there and you will stay down there and nobody else is going to get you out of it. And yeah. when they try, it's annoying, right? Like, you're like yeah. it's, hard to, it's hard to reason so, with as well. Even yeah, though you do you have the double activated T, but you know, end of the day, still yeah. feel all right. Yeah. That kind of I, I wanted it's a, to tell this story that how I was being an IJ earlier with Elizabeth. <laughs> tell him real quick. <laughs> okay. So earlier, he texted me and was like, hey, can you call Beth because she's supposed to be here? And I feel like I'm going to be such an IJ about it if <laughs> if, if she's not here. Like, like I said it. Just wait. Yeah, because you're being controlling. But it's like, you've got fucking calling me. Give me a chance to get ready to come. And she said she's going to listen more likely to her. And uh, <laughs> she's like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'd be here and guess what? She's not here. And we still love you, though. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> not quick. <laughs> oh, man. No, I just, I, I don't believe in controlling another person's time. That's, that's psychotic. It's no. influencing, though. <laughs> Don't control. move another person's SI. Don't want to do that. Especially <laughs> masculine. If you called me, if you babysat me and babysat what I did with my time and tried to call me as I'm getting ready to come here, I would be like, are you fucking kidding me? I would be I wouldn't like, say that to him, but that's but what you would feel happen it. in my brain. Yeah. She would say it. She would. Absolutely would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... All right, uh, last question for me. 
Um, so Dave and Shannon have often talked about how the extroverted functions can see all the things that the introverted functions can't. And mm-hmm. since you guys, well, since you, um, since you have any first, do you experience this with NIs? Could you describe that a little bit? Like where you see more than what this person with NI can see and you have to like baby them a little bit. Do you experience that or not really? Well, okay. So I, I can't really speak for NI because I don't know that many people who have NI. I think that my uncle does. I think that he's probably the same type as James Clear. Right, um, right. He. And I, I feel myself, I don't know if it's necessarily the NI as much as it is that, that blaster thing. Yeah. But when he speaks to me, it's, he's always trying to teach me a lesson. And I'm like, oh. Who are you? Right. I'm, I'm like, are you trying to teach me right now something that I've already known and thought about and gone over? Yeah. I haven't thought this well. Uh, no, I have not. I, I know I haven't thought of this at well. So I'm not talking about that right now. <laughs> but um, I, I just feel myself getting really annoyed because it's just focused on this one pattern, and I'm like, mm. your pattern's wrong. And they get offended. No yeah, offense. Yeah. They, they get offended. <laughs> get offended. <laughs> he gets offended. Mm. And so. Oh, yeah. sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, going off of that, how do you feel about uh, FE then? And then masculine uh, versus feminine? <laughs> Good question. FE, FE makes me feel tantrum y. Tantrum y? Really? Like, in what way? Like, if they. Um, they pick on yeah, I feel bullied. I feel bullied when I'm talking to an Effie person. That's how I feel um, about TEs. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, really? I have TI. Yeah, because I have TI. So like... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wanna, no, I wanna be... <laughs> <laughs> That's really it, though. Like, they'll just be like, what are your reasons? I'm like, uh, like just leave me alone. They're mine. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, yeah, so... Um, um, I get annoyed because... I, th- I mean, Dave and Shannon touched on this. I think that feelings are personal. I think that people should manage their own feelings. I think that, I mean, even with mental health, I, I think with this current PC culture where you have to, um, what's the right word, censor yourself for the sake mm-hmm. of other people's feelings. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> because as, those are your feelings. I, yeah. Those are not mine. You, you be responsible for them. Yeah. So when you as e make other people responsible for your own feelings, I I feel like I'm being bullied or controlled. Yeah. yeah <laughs> in a way. It is, it is in a way. It is in a way, to be fair. Yeah. I to be fair, like I'm I mean I have FE, but I am I am like of the mind that yeah, you should just take responsibility for like your own feelings. Yeah. So, yeah. So I do agree with that, actually. But it's weird. I wouldn't say I feel bullied, but I guess it's because I don't have a fine. But I'm still, like, agreeing with you, like, with that. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of FE people ask, or maybe it's just masculine FE. I don't know. But I have se- several family members with ma- masculine FE, and they just drill you with questions. And I get it now because we're in a freaking interview. Yeah. But, but I, I you're not in an interview twenty four seven, or when you're with your family. Correct. Yeah. I, I mentally prepared to be asked questions before, yes. mm-hmm. beforehand. But if I'm, if people keep asking me questions over and over again, and Effie, Effie likes asking. I don't know. Effie seems <laughs> to like asking questions, and it pisses me off. I don't like being asked questions. <laughs> Making specific questions about feelings themselves are like. Uh, like that or is it just any kind of question like like because the demon ti they oh they want to know your reason so they can have their own or maybe i don't know i haven't i haven't sleep processed that one it could be just like not wanting to have to blast all the time either <coughs> like yeah your blast is pretty good but it's still third you know what i mean it's still low and like sleep is low as well so it's like you constantly have to be going into your bag of like known information to be like mm-hmm. okay what do i think about this and then pulling it out that's and- true maybe it's like a demon si thing yeah so so are you so if, if i'm understanding you correctly basically you you hate their um 
the the insecurity that fuels their action. Yes. So so have you met have you met um um like a mature FE or like some seventy year old with like lead FE or something? Or um no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ask you another question that I've been wanting to ask you. It's pretty basic. It's just, you know, your, your daily routine. Like if you have one, what do you do every day? And if you don't have one, what's a most likely to fit in that uh, category of a daily routine? Don't ask me that. <laughs> um, I, I think it's a lot easier during the work week because I have to have a routine because I have a work time. But after I come home from work, I don't think we have a solid routine. I would like to get a more solid routine, but right now I just get home from work and I usually work out and then dick around for the rest of the night. Nice. <laughs> Dicking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just like be on YouTube or be on my phone or playing with my kids or whatever. But I, I would like I think I would like more solid routine so that I can more evenly disperse how much time I spend cleaning on certain days. Yeah. Got it. Mm. I'm actually the like system of creating a, a daily routine for a cease and holding him accountable for it. I wake him up at 5 a.m. every day. <laughs> it's working. It's working, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a bitch, but it's working. <laughs> well that's good. Yeah. I'm supposed to get yeah. in a cold shower every morning. <laughs> yes. Cold showers are great. <clears throat> Yeah, cold showers are sick. The biggest part of my routine that I struggle with is that I, I consume play blast everything, but there, there's not really a time during the evenings or during the day at all where I'm spending any time processing any of it. And so I'll get I'll get these tidal waves of just not being able to control my emotions at all, not being able to to do anything, my body will physically shut down. Like I'll get sick uh -huh. and I want a better routine so that I have the time and space to be able to use sleep processing. If okay. that makes sense. Here's a, a suggestion. I don't know if this will work, but have you ever tried like doing the sleep processing like at the start of the day? So like just I wake up ask the same thing. 10 minutes earlier than <laughs> you and just like journal for 10 minutes. Use mm -hmm. like a journal technique or something. Have you tried that? No, I don't want to. <laughs> I can okay. feel myself being like scary. No. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's yeah. here's my perspective on that. I think I think Odom and Leon and uh, Jonathan will agree. It's sort of like, especially because now that Leon is sort of uh, helping me get. Uh, make the time to do this by waking up at five i have i have so much i have almost more time than i know what to do with because i'm just <laughs> like like i'm awake for the same amount of time but i'm i exist in a more productive uh, yes. range of time now yes and yes. so and so essentially what i what i what i have the time to do now is think about everything that i want to get done today or in the week or the month and whenever i have even a spare five minutes to do it I will remember that I can do it. Boom. And then, and then, so that, that's like, that's like more for accomplishing goals. But then like at night I've realized that maybe because I'm a lot more tired from, from this routine, I, I, I sort of like default to processing my emotions then right before I go to sleep. And I, I, I think I've always done that, but now I'm more conscious about it. Yeah. And I'm realizing just how Big little time, time I actually give myself for that. And that part of that, <laughs> it handles how I go throughout the next day. That's awesome, man. Yeah, Do you feel man. like your your IQ is going to get higher as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my forehead, it's, my hairline is going to recede, man. It's, <laughs> high as mine. it's going to get as high as mine, man. <laughs> my eyebrows are gonna get bushier more any my voice is gonna become more like Jordan you're gonna start looking like Einstein dog <laughs> <laughs> I already have so many white hairs I don't know if you can see it but oh damn dude I think Einstein's tied to T-I-S-I 
actually. Yeah, probably is. They're like the smartest types, those guys. Yeah. Sleep INT- first INT- INTPs. Yeah. Bro. Yo, that makes sense because my brother's like, I don't know if he's sleep first INTP or consume sleep ISTP, but definitely ST, definitely TI. Yeah. Is that what you thought yeah. Cameron was? Uh, n- no. Or SIT? I'll, 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 yeah, I'll get to I don't that. Know. But, Sorry. Um, but my brother, he's he's been going bald since he was like 19. And he's got like long hair and it's like poofy and like magnificent and stuff. He's got a huge beard, but it's just like, you know, every beard, he's got like a mark for coming back. He How old is like, he now? I love my brother, but I always tell him he looks like Hagrid and Gimli like <laughs> And like, and like Robert You're Goldberg. a wizard, Harry. Come on, man, Robert Goldberg. Mm-hmm. All right, nice. enough about my life. Yep. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, oh, you were next, John. Ah, Remember cool. the highlighted question? Um, I just realized my question, <laughs> you want me to answer, you actually want me to ask that question? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Now I've got two. So <laughs> this may have already been answered, but what do you think is the worst personality type? <laughs> <laughs> And this is all subjective, right? Like, it just depends on you and what, like, what, what raffles. Let's, let's, let's rephrase it. Let's say what is the most difficult personality type to well, deal with. Well, you can't rephrase. You can't go back now. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I should say, what is the worst personality type and why is it FE lead? <laughs> and why <by> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like ENFJs. Ooh. Damn. That F I'm cool. I'm I'm better with ESFJs. My best friend is an ESFJ. She's F E N E. But for whatever I don't <laughs> I you know what? I think it might be because they are the complete opposite of me in that they have the the D E O I and then it's like a completely it's a complete opposite. It's the function. opposite polarity of each function. Mm. Yes. Yeah, it makes sense. That that's probably why. We're not typist here. That's probably it's all scientific, the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <We're not> scientific. <laughs> it's all scientific. Okay, this last question is and it's probably gonna get edited out because it's very rude. How does one properly fuck her right in the pussy? <laughs> I think that's subjective to the female. I <laughs> my information down. It wants to go explore that, but I think that's I, I think that vaginas are like snowflakes. Okay. And that. <laughs> and that they're really they need a safe space. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's different. Everyone likes different things. Everyone has their kinks. Everyone, you know, I, I don't know. Out of your face, bro. Oh, that no. Effie Effie player. <laughs> some, I don't know women, do. some women don't like penetration. Some women really like anal. It just, it's different. Interesting. I'm glad we can Maybe talk about this honestly. It's great. That was, a, that was an energy dominant question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it for a dominant answer? Was an energy dominant question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an energy dominant question with an info dominant answer. Very yes, good. Yeah. Nice. Correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Otim. Yo, my, I don't. I don't have oh, you're done. Question. You're done. Yeah, man. Calling her boring? Right. No, 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 I'm boring. Do you think we're boring? <laughs> no, I think not. No, no, I think that I'm I'm boring. Info dominant people are boring. Really? I was gonna yeah, ask. Yeah, I was gonna ask that question. So <laughs> they they probably are. Play last. They'll sleep last. <laughs> how, do you feel about, how do you feel about energy dominant people in general? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I can just. I feel myself getting annoyed, not like in the way that it's like, I hate you or I'm not going to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking to you. I just want information first. I want the logic and everything explained first, and then we can get to the happy fun times. Yeah. So I, feel like, 
I feel like it's like you're missing closure or something. Yes. Like yep. we're like, hey, what about this? And then we leave it and like go somewhere else and say, hey, what about this? Like what a lot of times I can feel myself making a joke, but then I feel the need to explain the joke, like mansplain it, like an asshole. Yeah. So. <laughs> So what if you I, can get you could but you can you can get the information through the happy playtimes well, uh, as in like you don't need to have the information first and then play you can like play it's, while it's getting the information cool. you don't need to yeah, play yeah. Ball. the double feminine play right, right. <laughs> exactly. i just i don't know I, i've noticed that when info dominant people talk they give way too much de details like when with the quay fresco class that dude just so many details in what in everything he was talking about mm. even if those details were unclear what was his type he is Koi yes, Fresco. He's, he's the same type as her except he's double feminine ah. mm. oh okay he's got some cool tattoos as well <laughs> thank you do you have any that you could show without <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got this one Hold on. This has, is an option angle for it. Oh, that's I cool. <laughs> There's this one on my arm. Wow, that's awesome. What does that what does that say? The the word. Uh, so there's like this little thing on my wrist. I don't know if you get strength. probably backwards, but it says strength and then yeah, you can see. I don't know, an arrow right here. Oh that demon oh. I don't know. I'm like, how do I move my body to make this work? <laughs> I don't know. How do I make this work in reality? Will no, you will but, you ever embrace the SI so much that you get your type tattooed on your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> is that really embracing SIFI though? Yeah, it's it's it was the joke was that it's a label. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, like that. That. <laughs> you know, Frank, you, you know what we all get as soon as we're born? For, I mean, at least in the States. We all get a social security number. So we're, therefore we're just a label with just a number. <laughs> According to the government, <laughs> it's not true. Cassidy, how do you feel about uh, Leon's uh, observer IJ uh, conspiracies? I don't think I've heard them yet. No, because that's because we're we're on par with each other. We understand <laughs> on the same level. <laughs> they're not conspiracies, bro. They're, they're real. They're real. They're true. No, but that, they're real. No, that, that's what every, that's what everybody else calls them. And it's oh, nice to you, both of us. Both of us can't eat gluten, so it's like the conspiracies with gluten are it's, we're, we're there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Cassidy, how do you feel about um, uh, Leon's double masculine, like, energy? <laughs> My double masculine energy. Oh, intrusive. Even, uh, it's, it's intrusive. intrusive. No, I've noticed it. It's, it's intrusive because it's, it's I think, <laughs> confronting. It is sensory. Leon's FI, he's like, oh, I'm intrusive. <laughs> no, no, I'm not mad. I'm only mad if it's a lie. It's not a lie. But I also don't mean to be, like, rude about it. But I remember, like, when I started working at a hospital when I was 19, I would ask people, like, what their age is and whatever, because I have to for my job. And people that are, like, older or, like, even young women, oh, you're not supposed to ask the lady her age. And I'm like... You want your scan? <laughs> I think I don't mind it because I would, per I mean, I, I, I think that this might be like the missing information thing, but I like when people are very forward and direct with me because I know where I stand. Yeah. I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly where I stand with that person. I know what they want. Yeah. That there's no, there's no suspicion. There's at no all. missing it's information. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. wow. okay. Right. What do you think about Assis's double femininity? I don't know. I haven't interacted with Assis enough. Oh, that's true. Okay. We'll continue that. On <laughs> that was an intuitive episode. moment right there. That'll <laughs> be a, another episode. But uh, Assis, I guess you have a word of wisdom. Is that still true? Is that the case? I wouldn't say it's a word of wise. wisdom. It's more, I, like, I it's, more like, it's more like some, just some general wisdom relating to OP and typology. So it's some NT. Some NT. Some NT. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll try to blast it. So, generally speaking, extroversion gives introversion perspective and variance. And 
introversion gives extroversion depth and meaning. Facts. Boom. And now give the sensory. Um, the detail. Oh, um, <laughs> like, okay. I, I, um, so I can, okay. we can, we can kind of unpack fan. this a little bit. We can unpack this a bit just so it makes sense, that it, so it works for everyone, right? So Cassidy says she doesn't like FE, right? I've said the same thing before. And I think it's because of, you know, the F5 versus FE differences, right? You, we talked about this yesterday, Aziz, and you said that FE gives perspective and on FI, right? So I could be feeling a certain way and FE would can kind of like, can, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm trying to figure this out, but FE can kind of see multiple perspectives of what I could be feeling. Is that right? Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, it'll see, because part of my interactions with FI people is like, especially masculine FI, it's like it wants to, it, it, it clumps, like as all introverted functions do. And yeah. um, there was there was one time when I I showed a masculine FI uh, ENFP, uh, not you, my so, some some of my music. It, I think it was more on the heavy metal side, and he was like, I, I showed him like like five of them and he's like they all sound angry and i'm like i had a different word for all of them and i'm like okay well that's weird <laughs> um yeah and Dude, so I know you like heavy part metal. of it's <clears throat> so sorry I, did, I didn't catch that ignore it okay Don't worry about it. <laughs> so part of that so part of it is that it sees the different like the like instead of like this it's more like this and then it'll see a bit more bit more of the space but it's like and then it'll see it'll do the same thing but with different people's fis but then right. part of placing it onto the spectrum because it's impersonal is that it lacks the depth and then it um the the depth and the understanding of where the depth comes from because of the of the demon di so because of that fe can feel like it's very surface level it's only really dealing with surface level emotions not real deep deep emotions right mm -hmm. yeah and that's why i think people this is just a theory but people that have fi as a savior, feel like people with FE as a savior are fake-ish. Yeah. Yes. I want to say something about this though. Just uh, here's an NI analogy. Just imagine that you're running a company and um, a savior FE is running a company. So you have FI, they have FE, and you hire like four guys that can work 12 hour shifts. And then they hire like 30 people that work four hour shifts. So you're doing the same thing, but that other people, those other people that work at the Effie's company don't know the job as well because they're not there as long. Mm, that's great. Right. That's yeah, a really yeah, good analogy. Good. You know, it's like what um, AC said. Um, let me just try to remember this before I blast and fuck up. Um, so what, like what you said about how the FI has depth. And um, just everything you guys are saying. It's the same with uh, my TI because I feel like my reasons stack. Like they stack. Like they're all like connected. But right. usually when I talk to people with TE, they will, they will give me perspective. But it's like they're not like stacking the reason. Like they're not seeing how everything stacked for me. So they like they have no issue just knocking over the blocks. And I'm like, yeah, I, you you are right. It's just really annoying because. I stacked a lot on top of that. And it's just like, but they don't see that. So they're kind of doing it just like, I'm doing you a favor. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and I guess it's the same for FEs. They think they're doing you a favor by just like swinging your values all over the place. And you're like- mm, Just shitting all over like, your values. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, that is it. Thanks a lot, Cassidy. For Thanks, Cassidy. Thanks, Thank Castillo. You. Thanks. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Like, Jokes, share, jokes. Comments, check out Instagram. We got a lot of funny stuff going on there. It's a little more in depth with our personal lives, and we'll see you all in the land of chaos next time. Boom. All right. Boom. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you, Cassidy. You're Thanks. welcome. Bye.